Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I have some pretty terrible news. The fantastic PlayStation 2 emulator Etheros X2's development has now been indefinitely suspended. This is really sad to hear as the main developer Talroth has been experiencing months and months of impersonation, complaints and now death threats. And this means that we're not going to receive any more updates for Ether SX2, at least for the foreseeable future. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the state of PlayStation 2 emulation on the Mac, and also what the future is going to look like now that Ether SX2 is no longer going to be updated. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So if you didn't already know, Ether SX2 is an ARM-based PlayStation 2 emulator that works fantastically on Apple Silicon Macs. It's a lot more well known for emulating PlayStation 2 games on Android devices. However, on the macOS side, Ether SX2 remains one of the very best emulators for the system. Not only is this one of the few emulators that uses the native ARM instruction set, which means it's optimized for M1 Apple Silicon Macs, it also uses is the native metal renderer so it doesn't have a translation there like molten vk it's accessing metal directly and this means that out of all of the game emulators that are available for apple silicon max ether sx2 definitely punches above its weight especially considering the fact that the other alternative pcsx2 with which ether sx2 actually shares a lot of its code base actually runs far slower and is far buggier and glitchier so when ether sx2 finally got a mac port in 2022 it was a pretty huge revelation. It meant that lots of games that demanded high performance, such as Shadow of the Colossus, could now run quite easily on the base M1 Mac. And this was a pretty amazing achievement, especially considering the fact that Talroth didn't actually own a Mac. MacOS builds were actually completed using a temporarily rented Mac server on the cloud. And the Mac builds that we received ran PlayStation 2 games beautifully. And it felt like even the very first release of the emulator on Mac ran very, very well. And not content to stop there, we started to get feature releases. So the most recent release of version 1.4 started to introduce features like retro achievements and game covers. And it seemed like the future of PS2 emulation on Mac was looking bright. Unfortunately, it seems like Talrath is now the victim of their own success. The emulator is so good and the community has grown so much. It means that the possibility of coming into contact with trolls gets higher and higher. This is exacerbated by the fact that Talroth was very easy to contact and so it's sad to hear that this has all culminated into death threats. So I can definitely see why Talroth decided to stop development on the emulator and to step away from the community. If you look on the official website now, you can see that there's a new update. Talroth has decided to step back from any kind of active online presence. However, if we delve deeper into the website, we can still see that the build archive page is available to click on. And if we go ahead and navigate down, we can find the desktop releases is still available. And down at this list, we can find the Mac version and we can still download Etheros X2 for Macs. And the latest version 1.4 is still available to download and install. So even though development of Etheros X2 and future updates are not going to be available, we can still continue to download and use version 1.4, which still runs fantastically on Apple Silicon Macs. Virtually all games that I'm running through Ether SX2 1.4 run pretty much flawlessly. If some games don't work to their full potential, then often you'll be able to find fixes online, or you can also incorporate fixes from PCSX2. So although Talrath has stepped back from development, it's really a credit to their development work that PlayStation 2 emulation lives on and version 1.4 is probably gonna serve as well for years to come. Now, obviously in the future, there's probably gonna be issues with future versions of macOS. It's hard to predict what's gonna happen. And it's also a shame that Etheros X2 is not open source so that other developers might be able to pick this up in the future. Talroth has decided to keep this closed source for now. One day, I hope that Talroth will be able to come back and help to maintain Etheros X2, especially for Mac users in the future. But for now, we'll continue to have a very powerful PlayStation 2 emulator for Apple Silicon Macs. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. If you want to find a tutorial on how to get Aetheros X2 set up for your Mac, then please make sure to follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.